Mm. Come in. I'm not doing anything right now. Oh, hey. You're the new student, aren't you? Come in, come in. My name is Hawks. What's your name? Ah, nice to meet you. Don't worry about me. I am just got done exercising. So, I'm relaxing a little bit. Why, come on. I'm in like my 30s now. I gotta have some relaxation when I'm got done training. You'll learn about it when you get older. Anyway, anything you need from me? Ah, oh, I see. The old man Aizawa told to come near, come to me. Well, hey. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to be your exercising teacher, along with my assistant, Mirko. She's not in right now, because I told her to get a few things before actual classes start. You know, basic material. Hmm. Hmm? Oh, my neck tattoo. I'm glad you noticed. It's kind of recent, like maybe like a few months old. Yeah. I thought it fit my aesthetic, and a lot of people like it. I'm thinking I'd get more tattoos. I'm not sure when, though. But nonetheless, it's good to meet you. Mm-hmm. You know, every student I've had so far, I give my class a nickname every time because they, they eat this stuff up like it's candy. So... I decided this year I'm going to be calling my students a little feather. Doesn't that sound cute, little feather? Hmm. <laughs> I told Mirko she needs to work on some, like, class nicknames as well. I don't know what she's going to think about, but it's not going to be as good as mine. I can already tell. <laughs> but yeah. I'm your physical education teacher, alongside Mirko. And just because I'm like this laid-back old man doesn't mean I'm not strict at times. I am still your teacher, so I'm going to act like it. God, if I heard what I sound like today, my younger self would be kicking my ass. Did you talk to Endeavor as well? Oh, he was the first teacher you saw. I see. Well, that's good. After all, he is the number one hero still. Mm-hmm. So there's nothing really much I can tell you about how my classes are going to be. It's usually even... Like get a surprise to me sometimes because Mirko is usually the one that handles all the heavy class business, you know. Mm hmm. You know, paperwork and whatnot. I'm just here for the looks and physical activities. You know, basic training, yoga, all that stuff. You gotta be flexible in this type of work too. So, just in case you don't want to sprain anything, I suggest you come to most of my classes so I can teach you the basics and advances of hand-to-hand -hand combat and whatnot. Mm-hmm. We're also going to be lifting weights, a lot of them. And I know, that sounds like a lot of work, but I'll slowly put you into it so it doesn't strain you out all the time. Yep. It's a pretty basic class, honestly, for physical education. But we both try our best. And that's why Endeavor insisted us to be the only physical education teachers. Because he trusts us. Mm. Also, there's been... 
a few things happen around the city. I know not many heroes are here and you can't really talk to them. That's only because they're on patrol and whatnot. Some of them are out of state, out of country, because there's some major crime going around the world right now. We're not sure why, but there's been seismic activity in Japan. There's also been countless murders in America. <laughs> this, we're going all across the globe, and, well, we're trying our best to figure it out. Yeah. But besides that, as of right now, there ain't no seismic activity as of recent. And, well, I don't think there has been any type of criminal activity, actually. Although, it is, seems a bit more quiet nowadays, so we're going to keep our eyes open and our ears even more open so we can hear out what we can figure out the deal. Mm -hmm. It's weird, too. The, the seismic activity... It's happening more in the southern reaches of Japan, the more non-modern places where they still have those uh, ancient-looking houses and whatnot. There's also a bunch of uh, swordsmen coming in from far lands, and I'm not sure how to see it. It reminded me of the old times of Japan, honestly. But, I mean, that's the southern region, so I can't really complain about it. Or say anything mean upon them. After all, they are quite crafty with swords. And also, the techniques they use are very... Uh, how do you how do you pronounce... How do you say this? Elegant. Their techniques are elegant. That's the only word I can think of. But, nonetheless, Little Feather, you're here for me, not a stupid history lesson. Yeah, that's for Aizawa's teachings. <laughs> yep, I am your teacher. Your physical teacher. And, well, when Miriko comes back, we'll teach you the basics of basic hero training. You know, hand-to-hand -hand combat, weapons, yada, yada, yada. Upgrading yourself to make your quirk even stronger. All sorts of things. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. That's odd. You have a birthmark? Yeah. Yeah, you do have a birthmark. It's on your sh collarbone. If you don't mind, can I get a l closer look? I wasn't seeing that clearly because it looked like a burn, but... It's actually a birthmark. Huh. That's a weird shape for a birthmark. Looks kind of like a flame. Yeah. You know, I kind of seen that mark in like history books and whatnot. Something similar to that. I'm not sure, though. I'd have to go back and pick up one of the history books Aizawa has. But it looks like a symbol. Not really a birthmark. But I, it could just be a birthmark, and I'm just being delusional. <laughs> I mean, it's happened before. I mean... There was this one kid who had a quirk that covered his whole body and like this uh, like algae type stuff, and I thought it was a birth defect. <laughs> I sent him to the nurse because I thought he was dying. In all reality, it was his quirk. I could be such a dumbass sometimes. But you live and you learn. And that's all you can do. Oh, Mirko just texted me. She said she'll be back in a few minutes. All right. Well, Little Feather, it's been a great time talking with you. And I hope to see you more in my classes. 
until we meet again. Ciao.